Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this week's stream. You see we've got our, uh, our usual game up here, and uh, just going to have a little random discussion, you know, anything and everything, probably ship-related stuff, uh, as always, but if we want to talk about other things, you know, it's just kind of a, an open mic night, basically, is what we're going to be doing here. And um, if you want to join in on that, uh, by all means, please do. Uh, Matt, how was uh, how was your week this week? Anything good, exciting happen? By the way, I've got the uh, these are the ships we're displaying this week. Of course, Titanic's up there. We've got the Arizona making its debut on the stream, and of course, the Big U. And the book I'm currently reading, which I am halfway through that book right now. So again, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys can see me a little bit better. I bought, a, I bought an LED light that, of course, is behind the camera here, directly pointed on my face. So... Uh, we shouldn't have as much issues as my face getting, uh, you know, going dark and whatnot. You got a new mattress. Well, I know you've been talking about wanting a new mattress for a long time, so uh, that's definitely a good thing. Um, it's probably, even by today's standards, probably more comfortable than what they had on the Titanic. My, uh, the mattress I use is a uh, Tempur-Pedic. It's uh, I've got the um, what you call it the uh, the uh, the adjustable base, so I can uh, I can raise the head and the feet however I want. And one of my night one of my nightly rituals that I love doing is um, I will usually go lay down in bed about an hour before I'm ready to go to sleep, and I'll usually watch uh, Twitch or YouTube, and I fall asleep, and I just I prop myself up with uh, in the position that I want to be in and I just relax until I eventually fall asleep. Also, um, I also want to uh, to send out a shout out to someone uh, who is one of my subscribers. Uh, she has her own channel which is Viola's Baked well, hold, hold on, let me uh, Viola's Baked Goods and Delights no, I'm going to get it right. Viola's Baked and Cooked Delights. Um, if you are looking for a excellent channel with lots of good homemade, good old-fashioned home-cooked recipes, definitely check her out. Um, she's got almost a 1,000 subscribers now, so hopefully um, we can help her reach that 1,000 subscriber mark. Uh, she was gracious enough to uh, send the first super thanks to the channel today. Um, this week's video that is now available on the channel is a Sunset Flight. It's That's the title of it. And uh, basically it's me. Uh, I was flying my drone around the uh, southern, very, one of the very southern tips of Louisiana, uh, less than a month after Hurricane Ida came through and devastated the area. So... Um, that it's all drone footage if you like drone uh if you like drone stuff and it's uh it's very short it's about six minutes or so here we are c73 nope i must have passed it up but here we are no that's 81. let's go look at 81. but anyway that's uh what the uh the video is about and she really loves the uh the drone footage when I post that stuff so she gave us our first super thanks on the uh, on the channel so uh, Viola if you uh, you catch this if you're watching live or if you catch the replay um, I sincerely thank you very much for that I really do appreciate it and uh, I'm glad you enjoy the video and I just I couldn't uh, go without giving her channel a shout out so uh, again if you wrote some great homemade recipes I've made several of her recipes um, comes out fantastic every time uh, so definitely go check her out if you can, and give her a uh, a like and a subscribe. Let's see. 
your friend has been inviting you to go fly a construction site. Uh, you haven't gone yet. Uh, any particular reason why you haven't gone yet? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. We're on B deck. That's why I haven't come across C-73. Too busy running my mouth and not paying attention to uh, exploring the ship. Okay, it's hot. Yeah, I I can definitely uh, understand that. I uh, have not been doing much outside. Uh, as well as Matt, as you know, I tend to keep indoors a whole lot at this time of year because I, me and the heat, we don't get along. So it's better for me to just stay indoors. Um, I had a uh, a photo shoot that I wanted to do. Uh, came. Uh, What's the right way to say it? Yeah, basically, it's been postponed because I just, it's too hot for it right now. It's just way too hot. It's a new bridge being built down in Cutoff. Uh, I hear they're getting a Wendy's down there, too. Not a big deal for me because I've got a Wendy's uh, that I can pretty much walk to from my house, but... If you don't have one in the area and you're a fan of Wendy's, you know, hey, good for them. I hope they uh I hope they're happy with it. Someday I'm gonna figure out how to stream the game Titanic Adventure out of time. Um, it's a really old game, but that's one of the reasons why uh, I've had trouble uh, figuring out how to stream it. But uh, the Cafe Parisienne here plays a, a, a vital part. Well, not vital, but uh, it's featured a good bit in that game. Uh, of course, it looks a whole lot better here than it will in that game, but not the point. Still, it would be uh, great to see. That's what I wanted to do on the uh, Titanic anniversary this year. I wanted to live stream that game, uh, but I unfortunately could not figure out a way uh, to stream the game uh, in time for that. So we, uh, I just ended up doing uh, whatever it was I did. I, I really don't remember. No, I mean, I, we probably walked the decks here again. Um, which is a good uh, segue into something else. Um, and I got Matt in here. Of course, he's my only moderator. And uh, he participates on my streams and he chats with me. Uh, so I'm not here just talking to myself. But uh, Matt, I've got something I wanted to discuss with you, which is relevant to the comment that I just made. So I don't want to, and I, I've said this before, I don't want to be a, a, a game, a gaming channel, because that's not really what my channel is about. But um, I'll see if that PC we had get us set up to on a. I'll see if that PC we had it set up on still works. That's cool, but I would need to figure out a way to stream off of it, too. So uh, there's that. But um, anyway, um, one of the things I want to do is, uh, as I said, I don't want to be a, a gaming channel. I really don't feel like... Um... <laughs> What's up, Billy? No, sir. You are the best. You're the best around. Nothing's going to ever keep you down. Yeah, the good Lord did not bless me with a singing voice. But anyway, um, I'm losing my chain of thought here. Let's go down to see deck. Um, again, I don't, I don't want to be a gaming channel. Um, I've, uh, with all the history stuff and the travel stuff, I really don't feel like gaming lends to it very well. But if you do want a good gamer and you're into Call of Duty, go check out my buddy Bill Keys. He is uh, he has his name on YouTube, the Bill Keys channel. Uh, he plays uh, mostly Call of Duty, but he does other stuff. He does these crazy 10K challenges where uh, you give him all these uh, ideas of things that he's going to do uh, on the channel and watch him do these things. Uh, uh, <laughs> He's uh he's quite the character too. He uh you will definitely be entertained by him. Um, a capture card is needed. Yeah. 
Yeah, more than likely, man. But um, I keep saying, uh, you know, I don't want to be a gaming channel, but I, I like having something like this up instead of just me being, you know, full screen because I mean who want on your on your phone, your tablet, TV, however you're watching me, I really don't feel like uh, you really don't want my face covering your entire screen. It's probably not the best idea. So we have something beautiful here like the Titanic to look at instead. But anyway, all of that being said, to do um, I'm going to try and figure out other uh, things that we can look at while we have these discussions because this uh, uh, live streams are going to be more uh, discussion oriented type live streams. Um, so what I'm thinking and uh, Matt this is where you come in. Uh, as I understand it, and I know it to be true because I've seen the, the videos, there is a mod in GTA 5 where you can get the Titanic. So uh, Matt, um, I would like, uh, since I know you play that game a lot, uh, I only ever played the story mode, uh, if you could uh, help me figure out how to get that mod uh, in the game, uh, that would be great, because we can do that one week uh, and basically sail the Titanic around instead of just walking around on the decks. So I think that would be pretty cool to do. I think since a new state is being released on ATS, uh, which is American Truck Sim, it would be good to stream. I did, when I first started streaming uh, on the channel, when I was first getting the channel off the ground, I did do a lot of ATS streams, which, uh, and, that, and that, yes, that game is very much relevant to a, a channel that's called All American Travels. I mean, you're, you're, the game, you're literally traveling and hauling stuff throughout the USA. Um, but I, I'm torn on it. Um, maybe I'll try it again, but it really, it really didn't lend much to the channel I found, even though I was really having immense fun with it. I, mean, I am buying that DLC when it comes out, probably the day that it comes out. Um, it's just something I'm gonna have to think about. But, uh, you know, Titanic and ship content is one of the things that I put a heavy emphasis on uh, with the channel. So um, that's more of the stuff I'm looking to keep. By the way, we're in the hospital quarters of the ship, if, uh, if, if anyone was wondering. See, infectious hospital here. Sail it around until someone kills you, steals it, and takes it over. Probably so. But uh, who knows, maybe we can, uh, I can just get it far enough away from anyone where, you know, they'll just leave us alone and, you know, we can sail it and they won't spawn an iceberg in front of us. What do we have here? Ah, oh, the padded room. I haven't explored some of the deep interiors of the ship here in a long time. That's part of the reason why we're going here and not, you know, some of the usual more popular spots, you know, the Grand Staircase, the bridge, all that, which we'll probably hit at some point, but uh, some of these other corridors are really cool to look at, too. Uh, we're not going to go there yet. Uh, the doctor's cabin, or his stateroom. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely want to look into that. And and uh, speaking of that, while we're on the topic, Matt, do you know, um, is there a way you could do like your own uh, online server and just invite whoever you want to it so you don't have to be uh, bothered with other people, like but basically doing what you said, you know, kill you, steal the ship and do whatever they want with it? Billy's got me singing the Karate Kid song in my head now. You're the best around. Nothing gonna ever keep you down. 
There is a way. Okay, good. Um, we could look into that, and then you could probably come on the game with me. Your friend that plays GTA knows how to do it. So if you wouldn't mind talking to him about that, um, that would be great. You know, maybe you could get a different ship, or if you want to sail, uh, you want to come on board the Titanic with me, um, you know, and we can sail the ship and, you know, chat, explore it, sail around in it, you know, you know, it's whatever. But I, I like the idea of it because, again, it would give us something uh, different to look at each week besides um, honor and glory every week, which, you know, is not necessarily a bad thing, but it can get repetitive after a while. And I definitely want to look into um, getting it installed. That, that, this will be a goal of mine. I don't know for sure if that's what I'm going to be doing on next week's stream yet. I have another idea um, that I'm kicking around. I may or may not be bringing uh, my buddy Tim back onto the show. Uh, if you did not see uh, the stream where he was on, uh, he and I compared and contrasted two uh, Titanic movies, um, of course the James Cameron movie and 1958's A Night to Remember, which uh, as I stated in there, in, some, in my view, in some ways it's actually a better film than Cameron's Titanic. But uh, if you're interested in hearing that discussion, you can go back and watch it. It is uh, on the channel. You can go into the uh, hit the live tab or the, uh, the playlist that says uh, Titanic and other ship related content and you can go and watch that live stream and the good thing is um, if you just want to say maybe play it like a like an audio podcast or something you can do that as well because really the audio is what matters because uh, I'm walking around the ship in that one just like I'm doing here but really the discussion is more of what that particular live stream was about. Well, it's Rockstar, so I'm betting you will have to buy it with game money, and to earn game money, you have to play all the online stuff or buy game money with real money. You should do a live stream while building your ships. Um, I don't know if you have to buy it. I, I, I'm well, and I, I, I've never really looked seriously into it. I just know I, I watched YouTube videos where I saw people had the ship in game. So, but now I'm ready to take a, a, a serious look into how to go about doing that, you know, how to get the ship in the game and uh, see, you know, what, what we can do with it, basically. I thought about doing a, um, a live stream where I'm building one of my ships. Uh, I won't rule it out as a possibility. I have to. I may have to set things up a, di a bit differently, though, because I mean, right now I've got everything set up where I'm streaming from my PC. You know, I've got my monitor is like right here in front of me. Uh, the tower is down here to my right. Um, I have to figure out a way where I could have everything in front of me, and the camera is at me, so. Um, I don't know. I, it, I definitely won't rule it out as a possibility. I have thought about it. Um, it's uh, the logistics of figuring out how to make it happen. That will be uh, the catch. Oh my god, are you serious? The Titan sub is in GTA. Good grief. The last thing I heard about the Titan sub was um, they were trying to uh, figure out uh, which uh, victim's DNA was on the uh, debris that they pulled up. I could show you how to tether your Sony to your PC. The cable you have is 15 feet. Yeah, we can maybe take a look at that and see.
Uh, yes, Adventure Out of Time, where you played against good old Buick Riviera right here. <laughs> you win your uh, your lifeboat pass right here if you can beat him in uh, I believe it was poker. Might have been Texas Hold'em. Yes, and if you dive to the bottom of the ocean, it will implode. Implode. Good grief. Oh, good lord. I, I don't know what to say to that. But, you know, it's been a month since the incident with the sub, and I, I will... I will say this um, about Stockton Rush. Uh, he was the, uh, the owner of the sub. Um, firstly, I feel bad for him as well. I mean, nobody deserved to die on that. I mean, they, the, their only thing they were guilty of was the same thing I'm and millions of other people are guilty of, which is being fascinated with the Titanic, you know. I just wish that he himself admitting he had an experimental sub that he would have did his due diligence a lot more and tested this thing a whole lot more before he decided to put other people in his care and have them trust him with their lives to go down there in that submersible. I just, it was completely reckless of him to do that and I, I I hate to speak ill of the dead I don't think the man again I don't think the man deserved to die but there's no getting around the fact that he is ultimately responsible for those other people dying I mean they they entrusted him with their lives their safety they trusted him to get them safely down to the ship and back up, and it just didn't happen. I will say this though, and of course I've been asked, uh, you know, by people who know that I, I'm fascinated with this ship. Would I ever dive down to the Titanic if I was given the opportunity? Absolutely not. And I felt that way long before the whole Titan sub thing. And one of my biggest fears would be drowning, and I, I don't want to experience the type of death that those people had to witness or experience. So, um, no, would never have done it. Now, would I dive to the Britannic? Yes, I would absolutely dive to the Britannic. You know, go, going explore any shipwreck is dangerous, and anyone who's ever done it will tell you that. But there are more advantages to diving the Britannic than there are going to the Titanic. For one, it's only in 400 feet of water. You could take a regular uh, sub down to the Britannic, and you don't have to worry about, you know, the thing being super resistant to, uh, you know, pressure, or have to worry about the thing imploding. You know, uh, the Britannic is not in crushing depths of water. And the Britannic, for the most part, is largely still intact. And where it's at uh, in the Aegean Sea, the shipwreck uh, has actually been pretty well preserved. Uh, so when you go down to the Britannic, you can see, you know, the ship still, for the most part, it looks like it's still a ship, you know, it's sunk in one piece. Um, it's broken apart at uh, on the well deck, but that is from the bow of the ship 
impacting the sea floor. It did not break up at the surface or on the way down. You see, it's on a trusted mod site. You have to download it and put it in the game files in a certain folder. Okay, so that's uh, in reference to the uh, the Titanic mod on GTA. So that's good. Um, I'll get that information from you uh, after the stream, and uh, I will definitely take a look at that because uh, maybe even explore it a little bit tonight after the stream. And uh, we're, we're almost about halfway through the stream at this point. Uh, we've got about 35 minutes left. So uh, it's not too late for anyone to uh, come in, drop in, say hi. If you're uh, if you're interested in doing so. There's actually a great documentary on the Britannic. Uh, I saw it, I think, late last year. And uh, it's available for, uh, on, for free on a lot of streaming devices. I actually want to buy it and own it. That way I never have to worry about uh, having to find a platform to stream it on. Uh, let me pull up the name of it, and uh, I can tell you what it is. Okay, so it's called The Mystery of Britannic, and it came out like uh, 2015, uh, 16, or 17. Let's go to the engine room. Okay, we will go. Let's go down to the engine room. Actually, I'm going to step away, grab a quick drink of water. Uh, I will be right back. Nothing like H2O. All right, so let's mosey on down the grand staircase. I wish the lifts worked. That would be really cool if the lifts actually worked. I don't remember if we went. Let's go take a quick look at C73 first. I don't. I already forgot if I even went to it or not. So this looks like the Strauss sitting room. I don't know for sure if it is or not, but that definitely looks like the fireplace. Which the uh, the museum in uh, Pigeon Forge and I imagine the one in Branson as well has a replica of this room and it's it's amazing all right here we are Carlson's cabin in Titanic Adventure Out of Time of course, it looked a lot different in that uh, in that game. Actually, I kind of preferred it uh, how it looked in not, not, not so much the the graphics. What I mean is like you know the paneling, the furniture. I just kind of liked it. I uh, think it looked a little better in Adventure Out of Time, even if this one is more accurate. Uh, I remember getting the letter. Meet me on deck, tell no one. P. Pringle.
I am Smithles, your steward. Okay. Let's go down. I sure wish that water bottle would quit doing that. Let's go to the engine room. Have you been playing uh, Warships at all lately? And down to E-Deck. Let's go look at Molly Brown's cabin real quick. Yeah, they sure do. Yeah, I haven't played in a while either. And in the room of the unsinkable Molly Brown, I would have thought her her cabin would be a little uh, nicer than this, actually. But you know, hey, it's still nice all the same. Been thinking about starting another Jurassic World game or Sim City. I wish I would have done another Sim City, um, but I guess the uh, the one they did ten years ago bombed so bad they figured there was uh, nothing they could do. But that's on their own. That's their own fault that it wasn't uh, it wasn't better than it could have been. You've been wanting to build something and be creative. I've got so many creative outlets now that I, uh, I've really been enjoying. I mean, between, you know, photography has always been a creative outlet, obviously. Um, building the ships is a creative outlet uh, because it's also uh, something I'm obviously passionate about. Um, building the channel, uh, it's been a slow grind, but it's something that is also yet another creative outlet for me. And, uh, We've got a really nice Discord server going on, too, so I've got a nice little community there that's uh, been built up. So, yeah, I've actually been really, really uh, letting the creative energies flow, and I'm really, uh, I'm really happy with uh, the way the channel's going and the way uh, things like that are going. Let's go look at the Turkish Pass. We're getting to the engine room. I promise we're going to it. I, just, I love looking at the Turkish baths because uh, this is one of the most well-preserved spots on the ship. So you have model building, gaming, streaming, drones, and now your YouTube channel. Which, for the most part, I've kind of combined all those things into my YouTube channel. Yeah, uh, when I was watching uh, Mike Brady's stream last week, uh, you ship people will know who that is. Uh, they spent a lot of time in this room. Or these are in the in this whole section all of the, the Turkish baths and of course after you were done with the Turkish baths you'd come cool off with a nice dip in the pool we oh and you can go underwater
And here we are, swimming in the Titanic's pool. I wonder if somewhere in the wreck of the Titanic there is a pocket of air. Would be cool to take an air sample and compare it to today's air quality. Um, I highly doubt that there are any air pockets left in the ship. There may have been some in the bow when it went down, but we're talking over 111 years ago now. Um, the, ship, the ship has structurally decayed to the point where you know, if there were any air pockets, they are now gone because the water would have gotten in uh, by this point. I really don't think, um, even if there were some, I don't think they would have lasted very long within the ship. I'd say maybe even the, the first week or so that it was down there, I imagine all the air pockets would have been gone. And I would imagine, yes, the air quality uh, in 1912 was a whole lot better than it is in 2023. You know, automobiles were still in their infancy back then. One thing I always wondered about, and there's, of course, no way to know for sure, was... If there were air pockets in the ship when it went down and hit the sea floor, could anyone have still been alive and within those air pockets? And the only way that would have been possible is if they would have been in one of the parts uh, pretty much around this section of the ship where... Um, you know, where it made the least, where the ship got the least impact damage from hitting the sea floor. I think that would have been the only way possible. And the stern, uh, if you were in the stern when it was going down, uh, the stern, of course, imploded. And uh, if you didn't know what implosion was uh, before a month ago, you know, you kind of know what it is now. So the chances of... Um, if anyone was alive and when the stern was going down, they never made it to the bottom. All right, good old Scotland Road. Wow, never thought about it. Yeah, I've I've thought about that. I've wondered about it. I, I don't know the the science behind it. I don't know if it's even possible, but it is something I've thought about a lot over the years. You know. Could it have happened? I'm guessing that the cold water would have put them to sleep really soon. Yes. Uh, if anyone was alive and there was an air pocket in the ship, the hypothermia would have killed them possibly even faster before they ran out of air. As remember, hypothermia killed the vast majority of the people on the surface you know, that were in the water after the ship went down because the water was that cold. It's even colder down at the bottom than what it would have been on the surface. So if someone would have made it uh, under that circumstance, they wouldn't have not they would not have lasted for very long. And there is a, a very nice picture of the Olympic.
All right, without further ado, let's go, uh, let's go take a peek at those engines. Just got to remember which, uh, which door is open. Here we go. Number five, boiler room. There's always another debate that um, that I've always been curious about. That uh, one of the uh, the channels I watch, um, and I admittedly, before I even uh, go with this line of thought, the guy knows a whole lot more about the ship than I do. But it's one of the main channels I watch on YouTube. Um, he talks about uh, he is convinced that. Had the ship had more lifeboats, um, it would not have helped save more lives. Uh, I am not 100% certain on that. I, his explanations, his logic is extremely sound. But uh, for one, uh, one of the survivors who was there, Eva Hart, claims that if there were more lifeboats, uh, she believes that more lives would have been saved. I think if the if under ideal circumstances, if you had more lifeboats, I believe more passengers could have been saved. What's the black rectangles on the floor? Um black black rectangles on the floor are you talking about the coal like right here i don't see any other black rectangles are you talking about the coal shoots you can't really see in here but this is a coal shoot this is uh and this door opens and closes and that's where they stored the uh, the coal at. Now I would imagine this chain here keeps the door in the open position, and you loosen up the chain, and the door shuts. No, before you entered the engine room. Okay, well let me retrace my steps. Let's see. Can I get back up that way? The rectangles on the floor before I entered the engine room. All right. Well, this is, we were in Scotland Road before we went into the engine room, so let's see. The rectangles on the floor. So this is where we were. Uh, this is Scotland Road, which runs almost from the forward end of the ship all the way to the back. I don't know, maybe you're talking about this diamond plate? Um, I am not, I'm, I am not entirely sure what that is there for. Might have to look into that. I, I, I really am not sure. Let's go back down to the, uh, let's go see the actual engines. Well, we were in the boiler rooms.
So yeah, uh, as I was saying, um, I believe under ideal conditions, and I emphasize ideal, um, had there been more lifeboats on the ship, I believe that it is possible more lives could have been saved. The thing to remember is they did not launch the first lifeboat until one hour and five minutes after the collision. So the collision happened at 1140. Uh, the first lifeboat launched at 1245. Now I get that there was, you know, after the collision, you don't immediately think, oh my God, the ship's going to sink. We need to start, you know, putting people into lifeboats. You know, Andrews had to go down, do an inspection of the ship, and make certain that the ship was actually in, uh, you know, the worst possible conditions, worst case scenario was going to happen to Fireman's Passage. So yeah, they had to expect the ship first to make sure that, you know, it was indeed going to sink, which takes time. Then you have to muster the passengers. You've got to start prepping the lifeboats. And, you know, they did not do any lifeboat drills, as everyone knows. But I believe had they launched the lifeboats maybe 30 minutes or so, prior to when the first one launched I think you could have gotten at least maybe one or two lifeboats off now you would have still had to float two of the collapsibles off I'm not saying you ignore that but maybe if you had like one extra set of davits with one lifeboat on each I don't see why it wouldn't have been possible to get at least two more boats off that's just my opinion I'm not saying I'm right or I know better than anyone else that's just what I think. All right, so it looks like we ended up going forward. This is, uh, we didn't actually go into the engine rooms. We went into the boiler rooms. Um, so we need to go back aft. All right, here's F deck. We need to head back aft so we can get in the engine rooms because the aft, uh, the engines were in the stern. Now this is all four. This is crew quarters. And this is why, although some people think, oh, well, he should have hit the ship, uh, he should have hit the iceberg head on. No. Because this is crew quarters. This whole section of the, uh, of the bow would have been completely crushed and these people would have been incinerated. Obliterated. Whatever word you want to use. Let us up, please. We're on D deck. Up to C deck. All right, let's let's just go ahead and uh, fast track it. Let's do this because we got about ten minutes left before we're gonna wrap up the stream. So uh, let's just uh, double time it. Let's quit to main menu, and we're basically going to teleport to the engines. Let's see. No, we were just in the boilers room. Let's go to third class. That's probably the fastest way to get to the engines. Is that a gauge for bad passengers? No, I don't believe it was. Most of all, that was um, like crew quarters, um, cargo, uh, the, the cargo area was right there. So I, I don't know where the, uh, the quote unquote jail would have been on the show. That, uh, that's actually a good question. I'm going to have to look into that. All right, we need to get to Scotland Road. Is 
So I'm pretty sure the uh, the the entrance way to the engines was on Scotland Road. All right, let's go. Maybe we should have went to the second class. Uh, Let's go to second class. Should be able to take the second class stairs from there down to uh, Scotland Road. All right, C deck. Third class accommodations. We should be able to reach Scotland Road from here. I don't know why we're not able to. This is uh, the second class dining area. Screw it. Ah. I'm just going to go. It's, I keep forgetting at times that um, they don't have. There are corridors that are not uh, in this version of the ship that actually existed on the ship. So sometimes it gets me turned around as to which way I'm supposed to navigate. Going to a thread to a reddit thread yes there was a padded room no photos of exist but you can find it on the ship's plans it was located in the ship's hospital it was five by six yeah we took a look at that earlier and um we know uh, the ship's plans yeah i do confirm it but also uh we know that it existed on the olympic as well so uh having said that we know for sure it was on titanic All right. We're just going to go the tried and true way. Yeah, we uh, there was the uh there was the padded room, they had the the hospital quarters, they had the uh the barber shop. You know, all of that was back in the stern section. I would like to research and see um, where the, uh, they probably didn't call it a jail, but, you know, where they held, where the Master at Arms would have uh, held people. I mean, they show that in, uh, in Cameron's movie. I never thought to check to see if that uh, was really uh, how they handled situations like that, where they, uh, they arrested someone on the ship. All right, let's head aft. The engineers, no, we don't want to go to the engineer's promenade. That's on the boat deck. It's kind of embarrassing. I can't remember how we get there. We are. Here's the engine room. Here we go. I can't wait till this game actually has like audio in it. 
A lot of people are saying the Titanic mod in GTA is messing up their game files and glitching causing problems. Um, I don't care. To be honest, um, I don't. I played the single player mode. Um, it was the only thing, truthfully, I was ever really interested in. I was never interested in playing the game online. I just want to see if I can get, you know, get the ship in the game, maybe cruise around in it a little bit. That's the only thing I really wanted for. If it ends up messing up the game, I don't care. I'll uninstall it and just reinstall it without the mod, you know, if I ever want to, you know, play it the real way. So here we are. Here's the engines. Look how massive those things are. I wish I knew what shaft, uh, which propeller these were, uh, these were running. I'm assuming this would be the starboard propeller. And over here would be the port one. Because it was different engines that uh that controlled the uh the middle propeller. These would have been for the starboard and the propeller, uh starboard and port propellers. Someone made this engine in Lego. It was amazing. Yeah, that yeah, that sounds pretty amazing. Yep, that's them. Like this, we can see him from the very top. Let's, hey, you got to crouch to walk on this uh, this catwalk, but look at that. More horsepower than a fighter jet. You bet. How amazing would it have been to actually been in this? You know, how bad I wish that they would have never scrapped the Olympic. Because then you could have actually seen this. Wouldn't want to get a finger caught in that thing. Uh, yeah, that'd probably not be the best idea. All right, with that having been done, I think we're... Uh, Gonna go take a walk to the bridge, and uh, I think we'll close out the stream there because uh, we're we're at the one hour mark of the uh, of the stream. Go back the way we came.
By the way, I've made some modifications to my USS Arizona. Um, I'll show this to you guys real quick. Um, when I first built this model, uh, I did the research on to um, what I wanted the ship to be painted in the colors that it was when uh, at the time of the attack. Well, one thing I mistakenly did was I had painted all the lifeboats white, and it turned out I learned after the fact that they were not painted white. So in the past week, I went and corrected that. You can see they are no longer white, and it's probably hard to tell in here, but some of the boats are a slight shade lighter gray than others. And uh, from what I can gather, that's this is now a lot more accurate of what the ship actually looked like uh, on December 7th, 1941. All right, let's go run up to the bridge real quick. Uh, I have used the airbrush. Um, I'll be using it a lot tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a lot of painting tomorrow. And here we are at the bridge. Never get tired of this view. All right, so we're just past one hour, so uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap it here. I'd like to thank everyone who stopped by and uh, checked out the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we do live streams every Friday evening uh, for one hour at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. And uh, in case you're wondering about how, when the rest of the content comes out, um, our schedule is as follows. Um, the, there is no new content on the weekends. On uh, Monday through Friday, we have a quiz question that comes out on the channel every day at 9 o'clock in the morning. And these are all Central Standard Times. Uh, at 10 o'clock, we have a, a random poll. It could be about anything and everything. It's just for fun. You know, uh, today's was, uh, which movie would you rather see, uh, Barbie or Oppenheimer? And uh, I think Oppenheimer's ahead right now. Uh, those, those type of polls come out at 10 o'clock every morning, Monday through Friday. We have a video short that comes out 11 o'clock, Monday through Friday. We have one new video, a uh, full video, that comes out every Friday morning at 7 a.m. And again, the live streams are every Friday for one hour at 7 p.m. Let's see. You're going to watch the GTA mod video. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to probably check that out. And yes, I agree. Oppenheimer. Uh, I'm definitely interested in watching that movie. I mean, of course, you know, it's history. <laughs> so thanks again for anyone and everyone who stopped by. Um, again, check out my buddies uh, Bill Keys and Viola. Uh, I highly recommend both of those channels. And... Um, Thanks, Matt, as always, for stopping by. And uh, I don't know what we're doing next week on the live stream, but, you know, it'll be something different for sure, something interesting. So thanks again for watching, everyone. And until the next time, drive safely.